Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to A Night in the Attic Overview. This looks interesting in a way that we've never had a mechanic like that before. A lot of the times because VR is first person, we are the actually the ones to do the thing. But when you're somewhere else in the world, when you interact with something that's like in front of you, it's kind of like a VR inception. Games like that would make a perfect AR experience because that's kind of the premise of it. But up until this technology won't go mainstream, we'll have to suffice with uh, double virtual reality. <laughs> so A Night in the Attic is an adventure puzzle game where by taking the board filled with different worlds with your hands, you tilt and move it around for Guinever to travel across the kingdom while on the quest to save it from the darkness. I suppose the inspiration was taken from this ball labyrinth kind of game thingy when you'd have multiple paths to reach the end goal but only one correct way. But this project is wrapped additionally with some kind of medieval princess storyline with adventure to discover. Very cool concept indeed, like we've never seen that on the platform. We'll be essentially staying in only one place in the attic with something happening in front of us which some people don't mind and some just don't like the stationary gameplay. I would more perceive it as a tactical RPG because it looks very similar to the stuff that I've played in the past when I was a child. While this whole environment looks a little bit basic-ish, it's not necessarily the focus so I should pass that. My main concern is that the board itself looks a little bit small to me. And I wonder if it's because the trailer is on the flat screen. It doesn't really give the real dimensions of it. If you can expand it or maybe, I don't know, zoom in, then I think I would be more aware of what's going on in the just terrain. If not, maybe I'll just stick my face to it and that will suffice. It's an adventure, which is my thing, so we'll see about the playthrough. It's pretty cool to see still some unique stuff releasing, and while this seems like a minor game, who knows, might be setting a new standard. Let's go save the kingdom! Okay, I was expecting you to read. In Grandma's attic, there's an old scroll. Okay. The kingdom of Camelot has gone dark without its king. What do you mean, a night writer? There's no one here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, it makes no sense to not have voice acting here, right? Oh, it's very small area, like I'm a child. What is going on? What do I do? Uh huh. It's kind of trippy. <laughs> and there she goes. Oh my god, you need to be careful with it. <laughs> like, I wouldn't say VR is made to be sensitive. <laughs> But in the trailer it looked very small. It's big in the headset, but the board is... Wait, that makes no sense. Everything's fine. It's because the scale seemed very... small, but this is actually very fine. Oh my god. What the? 
Hey. Stop playing here. <laughs> oh my god, this is not that easy. <laughs> Guinea bear. Wait, I have a bee. Oh. I see. Wait, can she fall? <laughs> Come here. Wait, how do I? I guess I got it, okay. It's definitely something I've never tried before. <laughs> but I'm not sure if this gameplay would be a nuisance or a unique asset of it. Let's try gentle. Okay, well. <laughs> but I can just put it here and like that. Yeah, I wish there would be some voice going on. And he rolls away. I mean, everywhere you look, there's a maze. Oh, okay. I don't know if that gameplay suits me personally. <laughs> it seems out of work for this. It has like its own physics system. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it zooms in and out automatically, I guess, to the environment's needs. <laughs> Kindver, no! Okay, well, how do I get out of there? I think it's just a matter of a budget to have someone to read. Unless I turned it off or something? No. I'm appreciative of the barricades, because it will be insanely hard to navigate here. Hey! Wait, so... Well, now... I didn't see... The other path. You 
Is she stuck? Oh, okay. So it's complete. What now? <laughs> Interesting. It is definitely in someone's personal taste, like maybe not mine, but I appreciate the gameplay, like it's very unique. <laughs> Their environments look kind of detailed, at least for this scale of stuff. There are some mechanics going on, little music. Small puzzle elements. I'm coming, my prince. And he goes. Nice conversation, mate. Okay, but there's no point in playing more like you see the gameplay. I mean, it's okay for what it is. I wish there would be some just voice acting for the dialogues. It says here, I mean, that's a tip. Choose whether to display captions for spoken dialogue. I mean, spoken is a big word here because they're not speaking, actually. <laughs> the board thingy is cool. Definitely, if someone is, I don't know, maybe younger or whatever, like, this is something to play with. Not for me. It is like you have to be careful of the movements and just what's going on because it's not that easy as it looks. <laughs> the thing that I was worried about is the scale and it's fine. Of course you can put your board to the face, but it's not a big deal being actually here and just seeing stuff because the game adapts to what's going on. With zooming in and out, like, there's no problem in reading what's happening. Overall, I think it's fine. It's missing a couple of things, like with the dialogue. And uh, I mean, there's nothing more. It's just very strict gameplay that has a vision and realizes it in its own way. So it is that. <laughs> I don't know what to tell.